If you're asked to multiply two times five eighths, here's how you can do it. So first off, we have two five eighths. So we could just add five eighths plus five eighths, and that's the same as two times five eighths. When we're adding fractions, the denominator is the same. We'll just keep that here. And then we add the numerators. Five plus five, we have 10 eighths. So two times five eighths, that gives us 10 eighths. But we can simplify this. These are both even numbers. So let's divide 10 and then eight by two. 10 divided by two is five. Eight divided by two is four. So two times five eighths, that equals five fourths. There is another way we can do this. We could take two and call that two over one. It's still two, we're just dividing by one. Now we have a fraction. We can multiply the fraction by five eighths. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, then the denominators. Two times five is 10, one times eight is eight. We said that simplifies to five fourths. Five fourths is an improper fraction. If you wanted to convert this to a mixed number, you could divide four into five. So four goes into five one time. One times four is four. We'd have one left over, bring the four across. You could call five fourths one and one fourth as well. This is Dr. B multiplying two times five eighths. The answer, five fourths, or if you want a mixed number, one and one fourth. Thanks for watching.